Amidst interludes of fine tunes played by the Lagos State Police Band and rendition of their profiles, the recipients took turns to receive their awards. In his remarks, Professor Jubril Aminu, Chairman of Public Policy Research and Analysis Center, which initiated the awards, who was represented by a member of the center's advisory board, explained that it is the vision of the center through the prize to encourage purposeful leadership and patriotism in the country by honoring distinguished service to humanity, adding that the prize is strictly on merit. Today, we have another memorable evening of recognizing excellence of recognizing excellence in the field of leadership and of recognizing service to mankind. The chairman on the occasion and former foreign affairs minister, retired Major General Ike Wachuku, recalled that Dr. Nanda Zikiwe, after whom the prize is named, was one of the founding fathers of Nigeria who set very high leadership standards for the country through their genuine commitment to the Nigerian project, noting that for the country to achieve its manifest destiny, her leadership must pursue the positive ideals which they lived for. Amen set such high standard of leadership that the whole world how to acknowledge the potential greatness of our country in Nigeria. Little wonder therefore that the names and the persons of these immensely important Nigerians, particularly Dr. Nandias of New York, on this occasion, elicit fond memories of their styles and quality the Oni of Ife, Oba Adeyeye Niton Ogunwusi, acknowledged that decades after his demise, the great Zeke of Africa, as he was popularly known, is being celebrated across the continent, calling on the nation's present leaders to endeavor to leave legacies that future generations will draw positive inspirations from. Receiving the prize, Governor Obiano dedicated it to Ndianambra, without whose support he acknowledged his government would not have been able to achieve anything. The governor revealed that Dr. Azikiwe's lifestyle has been a great motivation to him, especially as it concerns the icon's disposition towards proper planning and doggedness, which he noted set the stage for his administration's careful crafting of its vision for the development of Anambra into the four key pillars and their enablers. This clear blueprint, he said, has driven the ongoing positive revolution which the state is experiencing and provided the framework that had ensured that it remained the first in key sectors of the economy. He had a vision of where he and his team would like to take Nigeria and he walked towards it. And that simple vision was to get the independence for Nigeria. They did very well to do so and it, it, it wouldn't have been uh, 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 easy if they were not focused uh, one mind with the uh, Chief of Africa War and all the veterans that uh, took part in this exercise. In their separate remarks, the Director General, Budget Office of the Federation, Professor Ben Akabeze, who is from Anambra State, and the Chairman, Southeast South South Professionals of Nigeria, Mr. Emeka Ugoji, described the award on Governor Obiano as well deserved, considering his outstanding achievements within his first two years in office. Performances by the Police Band and the Lagos State Council of Arts and Culture formed the high point of the event. From Civic Center, Victoria Island, Lagos, I am Kenechu Kuoforma, reporting for ABS News.